Energy Minister Peter Kapala has directed Zesco to put in place mechanisms to prevent national blackouts in an event of a system disturbance on the regional interconnected power system. And Mr. Kapala says preliminary investigations into yesterday's national blackout have revealed that the cause of the disturbance was external to the Zambia interconnected power system. The minister has revealed that the disturbance caused the loss of generation plunging the country into a national power blackout. He says this led to the separation of the Zambian power system from the Southern African interconnected power system. Mr. Kapala says Zesco immediately began the restoration of power with all provinces back on the system by 1350 yesterday. Meanwhile, Mr. Kapala said on Wednesday, 3rd November, some parts of the country experienced low supply of power due to faults on the main stations resulting from heavy winds and rains. He says the normal supply to the affected area is being systematically restored. The minister has also disclosed that Mambo Colories Limited has today synchronized into the national grid the machine that was under maintenance. This is according to a statement issued to ZNBC News in Lusaka today. Zambia is envisioned to become a net exporter of fish in Africa in the next five years. Currently, the country imports about 80,000 metric tons of fish per year against annual production of slightly over 90,000 metric tons. However, Fisheries and Livestock Minister Makozo Chikote is confident that Zambia has the potential to become a fish